Hi guys, this is JMAG's NBA Reviews for Basketball Commoner YouTube channel. So, Game 5 of the NBA Finals. If you missed the action or you only saw the highlights, don't worry, we got you covered. So, LeBron said the job is not done yet. Lakers were wearing the Mamba inspired jerseys. AD wearing those gold shoes. They lost 111 to 108. And I don't know, man, but I think they jinxed it. Butler was again incredible with another triple double 35 points, 12 rebounds, 11 assists, 5 steals. And his ability to get those fouls, absorb the contact, and make those free throws it's huge for me. I'm, he's just my kind of star. Plays both ends, was clearly exhausted late in the game, but pushed through it. He only rested for 40 plus seconds the whole game. That's just top level conditioning right there. He went toe to toe with LeBron who also had a monster game. LeBron had 40 points, 13 rebounds, and went 6 out of 9 from the 3 point range. Well, I thought if James 3 point shot was on, they would win the game. I still remember in his first finals way back in 2007, the defense was just dare him to shoot. But kudos to LeBron, his work on his 3 point shot over the years and Fast forward to 2020, he's now a reliable shooter. He reads the court very well. He was very aggressive early on. And if they give him space, he just lets it fly from three. So the game went down to the last few plays. Green had a wide open three off a pass from LeBron and missed it. And I have to say, I like Danny Green, but I'm not a fan of his performance this year. He's just missing a lot of shots. And you know it when people is making the back of his jersey a meme? Like the back of his jersey reads how many more and they add how many more shots would I miss? And again, there are those moments in the game that he would drive and he, he shoots those awkward floaters like I said in the previous review right and this one that was a contested floater it's just it's just it looks like he's forced to drive and he's not into it so I, I, I don't know about that another key play big big play is when Morris got the ball off the Danny Green miss and he just passed the ball out of bounds to no one he passed the ball to Casper the ghost. I mean that was crazy. There was there was still time left. He could have shot it or drove it or just took his time with it. Because there was still definitely time. I guess the moment was too big for him. You know, J.R. Smith would be laughing right now because he got a new disciple. Ah, so let's talk about the heat. I have to say the Heat were making the extra, extra pass. Yes, I said it. Extra, 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 extra pass. Right? So credit the Lakers because they're able to defend well with, a, with their initial rotation. So the Heat are constantly moving, cutting, screening, doing handoffs, all those actions just to get a shot. Right? And eventually it paid off. They were just more active and they're quicker to the ball. There were also times I liked how they defended LeBron. You know, Butler would defend him when LeBron's in the post and he would just time it and just back off and LeBron would get off balance. And when he goes up, it doesn't go in. He also did that in, in the previous games when LeBron had two travels late in the game. Uh, I think that was game three. I also like what they're doing when LeBron drives, someone would help, like when Hero comes over to pro provide help defense when LeBron is on the act of shooting and they would bother LeBron to give that double team and then LeBron would be forced to either shoot it and then miss or 
make the pass so they're letting um, other people beat them KCP was outstanding as well he was always attacking when he had a chance he ended the game with 18 points but boy he missed a lot of threes he only made three out of eight attempts that's one thing the Lakers need to work on and other players too so and let's not forget Kuzma Kuzma who only had seven points zero out of four from three negative 17 plus minus rating need I say more he's really blowing his chance to be a legit star here I mean he's supposed to be the third star on this team I'm, I'm rooting for this guy why because he's a Kobe disciple and I'm a huge huge Kobe fan mama face so kind of disappointed there a player which I'm very amazed though is really Davis like though I don't really dig those gold shoes I mean it's like he's going to a stage play or something but man is versatile follow-up dunks transition defense is there he's always running the floor for putbacks blocking shots even guard Butler at times so he had an injury scare late in the first quarter where he kind of aggravated his heel contusion but he was able to go back in fine he was able to play but in the fourth I think his ankle slipped or twisted it and he was limping around the three minute mark and I think that was a factor too that affects your defense a little bit especially late in the game he did have a good game at 28 points though I was also impressed with Iggy's defense you know Igodala played nice defense on AD was very active with his hands got a couple steals here and there and I thought it was brilliant for coach Spo to let Iggy back in the dying seconds because he's a vet he's been there right he knows what to do he doesn't get rattled in those big moments though so I have to say it's clear that his offensive capabilities have dropped you know he's getting old and all that but he but he can still contribute in, in other ways he even had more rebounds than Adebayo now in my past review I mentioned that Robinson needs to do better right and he did 27 points 7 of 13 from 3 point distance and he had no conscience at all whether he missed it whether he made it he just shot and shot and that really provided a huge boost for the heat he just lets it fly though I'm still a bit concerned with his defense right his liability in that area like just people just blowing by him for the drive and he commits those weak fouls so he still needs to work on those but he, he can light it up next game I think Heat will have a good chance of winning then there's Adebayo right I know he's not 100% he's, he's got that neck injury bothering him but he's he's got to play better if they want to win the next game I mean he had a lot of missed shots under the rim close to the basket point blank shot there was even one that's an uncontested dunk and he still missed it he just needs to find that next gear right injury and all it's the finals after all it's the biggest stage you never know you won't be back at this stage right so give it your all now many criticized LeBron for making that pass to Danny Green instead of shooting but man what can you do he was able to attract the defense he saw Danny Green was open very open in fact that you could plant an entire field there right so he made the right play and kicked to the open man I mean I would too right I'm, I'm not even a LeBron fan here but but you saw MJ kick out to Paxson or Kerr right or Kobe kicking out to Artest or Fisher in, in, in the finals so those are just moments where you need to trust your teammates so I don't know why LeBron is 
getting a lot of heat from that but most of the fans are kind of saying he needs to have the killer instinct well maybe he just needs to put himself in a position to take that last shot right but other than that it was the right play man so that's our game five review and a little bit of analysis hope you like it if you want more of these please like comment subscribe so again this is jay mags for basketball commoner peace